Hey everybody, the bong is here. Welcome back to the Sanctum. Today is January 7th, 2020. As you can see here... Okay, Jackass is a regular on my YouTube. Wonderful you can be here. Anyway, I did a little bit of grinding for lives, because let's face it, this hack has been absolutely brutal. Romilia just uh, posted, like, say, were your picks on the visual round weekend in the NFL? I keep saying it before, and I'll say it again. I don't really follow football too much. I don't even know who's still in there. Let me look it up. Let me look up the bracket. I'm just glad the Patriots are gone. Okay, in the AFC, there's Tennessee and Baltimore, so I think... I think the Titans are going to win. Uh, out of Houston and Kansas City, I kind of want the Chiefs to win. Vikings or the 49ers? I'm okay with the Vikings. And Seahawks and Packers? I'm going to go with the Packers. So there you go. <laughs> Again, I don't really follow the football too much until we get much closer to the Super Bowl. And, you know, divisional playoffs, not close enough. And hey there, Starwind. My holidays went really well. Not long enough, but what can you do? It is what it is. Alright, so... Again, I did grind for a lot of lives. Like, up to 64 lives. I kind of wanted to go to 69 lives, because that would have been nice, but... It was almost time to get started with the stream. So, 64 is good enough. And one thing I actually figured out, like, while I was grinding and just, like, hitting buttons randomly. If you hit the L button. You, you get this tornado to pick you up. And then you end up over here. This is the warp zone. Obviously, we can't go to World 12 because we haven't opened it yet. But holy shit, if I had known this was a thing much, much earlier... I could have saved myself many seconds just going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth to get lives and power-ups. That's how you even get here! How was I supposed to know that? <laughs> hey there, Maximum Sky. Anyway, I've rambled long enough. Let's actually begin Space World. The Asteroid Zone. What is it with Mario Hacks and constantly having to do the moon theme from DuckTales? It's like that almost every time. It, it's just a trope now. Last question, go. Got a certain game you're looking forward to playing in the near future? Take on referring to games that haven't been released yet this time. Well, anybody that's been knowing my channel know that I did enjoy Neo 1 a lot, and I did try out the demo, and you know what? I am excited for Neo 2. I would imagine the difficulty be, like, ramped up to be a bit easier compared to the demo. What's going on with the flashing? So, there you go. Other games, I would say... I might as well give, like, Animal Crossing Island Horizon a chance. Or, like... Is it Island? No, New Horizon, I think it's called. Can I pick this up? Why can't I do anything about this, uh... This thing? I don't know if it's safe for me to even drop down here. Hold on, maybe I can actually just stay over here. There we go. The meteor is gone. Is that because I was on that other platform? Code Vein, I have seen some gameplay of it. It does look interesting. Um, god. Maybe Doom Eternal I give a chance? Believe it or not, the game that's not on that list would probably be Final Fantasy VII... The remaster of Final Fantasy VII? I, I might just wait a while before it's on sale. Oh, the secret exit actually has a secret exit. Now let me go back here and get the normal exit. Because I can.
if I was curious about a certain game that's coming out soon. Oh yeah, Elden Ring, I forgot about that. Um, let's see, uh, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is gonna be like a neat action RPG. Which, unfortunately, I haven't seen a lot of gameplay of. Elden Ring will be fun because it's kind of like Dark Souls, but like with George R. R. Martin involved. So who knows, we might get like Game of Thrones style Dark Souls. We can almost have like settings similar to Elder Scrolls games. I don't know when Elder Scrolls 6 is coming out, and I don't think it's going to be 2020. Which would be a shame. The next Tales game I think is coming out in 2020. Tales of Arise, I think it's called? And, uh, Ease 9, perhaps? So there's a various bunch of games. And one particular indie game or puzzle game that I'm interested in is Carto. That's spelled C-A-R-T-O. I don't know how much it's gonna cost, but it does look pretty fun. Like, if you had a chance, you can look it up. There's, like, no release date yet. Oh, careful. I definitely don't want to fall off these asteroids. Why does it keep flashing like this? That is very, uh, dangerous to people with epilepsy, I'm just saying. Clearly, the, uh, hack developer did not think that through. I apologize for anybody that's watching this level and are very photosensitive. Okay, is there much more to this level? Like, really? Ah, God, it's hurting my eyes. Alright, take a sip of my tea. Ah. There we go. Another game that's coming out that I might be curious in trying, but I don't know if I actually will commit to getting it, is, like, Cyberpunk. I might as well just do, like, the A-Path. Asteroid Belt. What the hell? What's up with the oxygen meter? Oh, you had to pick up air? You had to pick up air bubbles in space. Yeah, that makes sense, but okay. Here we are. I think I'm gonna get that power up. Yeah, that's a good idea, Wolfie. Like, wait for a gameplay trailer to see if Cyberpunk will actually be pretty good. They're kind of advertising it as, like, a GTA-style game, but with, like, futuristic sex scenes. And I'm like, are you really going to make that a selling point to the game? Is it going to be any good? Is it going to be, like, open-world style, like Grand Theft Auto? Where will there be a lot of quick-time events? Or will it just be lots of melee play or gun play? I don't know. 11B, the lunar base. Are there, like, any other songs for, for this particular world other than whatever I played earlier in DuckTales? The thing is, if I were to upload this to YouTube... Capcom would claim this 100% of the time. They will always claim any kind of gameplay music that has the moon theme from DuckTales, no matter what. But, you know, within their right. But it's usually this theme. The Ice Flower is going to be really good in this level. Especially if I can freeze this, too. Whoa, whoa, okay. 
Don't have that fall on me. Alright, so far so good. Like, I'm doing really well for a change. Like, other sessions of this hack that I've been doing, I've been very sloppy. But I think uh, my gameplay is starting to ramp up again. And about time it did. <laughs> I guess somehow I play a little bit better when I have 65 lives. That I pretty much picked up all in the same stage. Not to say I don't mind this scene is really good for its time. I never said I didn't mind it. I never said I minded it, I mean to say. I mean to say that it's been used a lot. Topical. Um, I think we're gonna go now. Okay, there's just a random pipe over there. God knows what was to the left. Probably a pit. Alright, just go straight to the castle. Alright. How about no? Not yet. Oh wait, I still gotta do the normal exit here. I forgot. Well, at least this music's a little intense. Hey, did you notice those, uh, ice cubes? They just started randomly floating. What's causing them to do that? Also, are those big asteroids just tracking me? I don't like being tracked, thank you. Whether it's by Alexa or, you know, asteroids in a 16-bit game. Just saying. I'm not okay with this. <laughs> that is why I don't have those smart home devices. Because really, why would I need a smart home device to tell me, like, the uh, score of a game? Or tell me the recipe for something, when I can easily do it myself? Like, call me a bit old-fashioned, but I'm okay doing these things manually. Okay, is it just me or some of the uh, asteroids here just taking up the the AI of fish? That just seems so odd to me. Like this one right here. You know those Rip Van fish that stalk you? That's what that asteroid's doing. It's so weird. Wait, we're done already? Um, okay. I'm alright with this. Just had to refresh because I, because when I uh, turn on Twitch, I wasn't live at the time. 11-3. Loading station. Okay, looks like it's just regular gravity here. Fine by me. Just time to get back to normal. <sighs> Why did I think I could duck under that safely? Alright, let's try this again safely. Also, I think you kind of bounce up when those thwomps drop. So keep that in mind, you don't do a little bunny hop by mistake. Or you might just stop altogether. Oh, ooh, I thought that was gonna get me. It was either run as fast as you can or just wait. I think waiting was the right choice. 
I agree, it's not a bad track for this particular area. Again, it's not a track you would hear often, but it's good for where it is. Whew, okay. You forgot to play 11-2? No, I didn't. I didn't forget. I was gonna get to it later. Who says I have to do all the levels in the exact order? All that matters is I actually do the levels at all. Let me go at my own pace. Relax. It's fine. <laughs> go that way yet. I'm just wondering if there's like another level between here and the castle. Otherwise, this world is pretty short. Alright, let's see what's down here. Exit? Uh, I think the speech box is glitched. Nothing happened. Okay, was that a life? I don't even remember what that was. I thought I picked up a power-up. Okay, that was weird. Somehow the thwomp fell through nothing. I've seen it all. Yeah, again, like, no message. Okay, that's bullshit. They have to do these kinds of levels again, where the debris falls everywhere. These are like the worst kind of stages because it's all RNG. 100% RNG. Mario Hack should not have a level like this. They should not have put that in the game, where there's a chance you could die no matter what. You just happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. But you have like less than a half second to react. See? I was not safe anywhere. <sighs> okay, I'm not stopping for anything. Run. Fast. What do you think I'm trying to do? Also, isn't that theme from Final Fantasy IV? <sighs> Thank God they give you mushrooms, they already know this part's bullshit. Oh, you gotta be mm, fucking kidding me! They give you a mushroom, so of course you pause, right? So I kept hitting the jump button, thinking the animation was over. It wasn't over, or it was over, but my jump did not register. It dropped the jump. So I got screwed. Oh, that sucks. This is why I grinded for over 60 lives. I think it was for this level, also that block didn't break. How do you prepare for that? Not looking at chat, by the way. I'll have to wait till I die. Which is... Gonna happen soon. Oh, oh. 
Oh my god, how long does this go? <sighs> hey, baloney brony, I'm doing pretty well. You go slow, you die. You run quick, you die. You run just right, you still die! <laughs> Just pray. That's all you have. I think this is the only instance where thoughts and prayers are considered acceptable. Hey there, Wariyami. How's it going? <laughs> yes, my thoughts exactly with this level. Okay. That time I actually got hit by the... Okay, how do you prepare for that? How do you prepare for that? Can't believe someone found more music more stress-oriented than the drowning music from Sonic 2. At least the music from Sonic 2, when you're drowning, there are many ways to get out of the situation, rather than multiple ways for you to die. At least when you're drowning in Sonic 2, you can get out of that situation through skill. There is no skill involved getting out of, like, random debris that's just constantly, constantly falling. At least every time I get hit, at least I'm near a mushroom. Not looking at chat, guys. This is too hectic. And also too shit. Look at that! I got hit the very... Hmm, I got hit the very second I got a power-up. Who thought this was a good idea? I don't know if that's from a Toho music, because I don't play a lot of Toho games. I thought it was like, again, from a Final Fantasy game. But I could be wrong. Oh, no. Oh! Oh, come on! This is not fair! And you can't always predict that something's gonna fall at that exact time. If I slow myself down by, like, half a second, the whole sequence gets thrown out of whack. All right, I'm gonna give it one more try, and if I don't do it, I might have to cheat. I might have to save scum my way through if I die again. All right, kind of. Whoa. Okay. I overjuked. All right, game. I was too patient with you, but I, I, you gave me no choice. We're gonna have to save Scum, everyone. I'm not a fan of it, but it's the game's fault for putting something like this in there again. Like the new players would hate the fact that this was a thing in. World 7. I think it was in World 7. Yeah, it was World 7. And yet they go and put something like this in there again. Haven't you learned? This is not a good idea. Like, see? If I make that jump, I have to jump, otherwise I fall to my death.
You can't make it so that it's 100% guaranteed I'll die. They tell you to run fast, but it doesn't work. You still get hit. Who thought this was a good idea to do twice? Uh, okay. Okay? Can you play an NVM? What's an NVM? I don't know what you're talking about, Mobot. Oh, okay, it was probably just a typo or something. Alright, fair enough. Anyways, welcome to the show, also known as Hell. Constant debris hell. I mean, look at that. Does that seem fair to you? Naruto Ikari donated $20. Bologna Brony here. I would say mic check, mic check, but this isn't a check. This is a digital fund transfer, so it loses the pun. Yeah, it definitely lost the pun, but thank you so much for the tip. Much appreciated. Thank you for showing some love in my darkest hour. <laughs> I don't think anybody hurt the developer. I just think the developer went a little crazy. Thought of a, like, a good theme with a terrible execution. And now, look at all this. It almost looks impossible. It almost seems like the timing changes based on your positioning. I mean, look. See, it falls there. However, if I stay still... Okay, this is still falling there. But there's, like, no pause. And if there is a pause, it gets you in midair. Thanks for giving me a flower at the very end. There, we did it. This level is awful. This should not exist in a hack, I'm just saying. Anyway, I'll do 11-2. It might be a lot better. Spaceship Ride. Yes, I saw your previous message, Will, relax. Mario Party, probably no, because I'll be by myself. Mario Party games are better enjoyed if it's with other people. And there weren't any other people. You also had to keep in mind, I was going through this, the previous kind of level, so I couldn't have time to read stream chat. There was just too much going on. I hit the hammer brother midair. Well, at least I'll be able to decompress, because at least this level is a little bit more calming. I just hope I don't have to deal with falling debris ever again in this hack. 
Like, if I had to face the final boss and it's all falling debris... Oh, don't apologize for that. You just gotta understand that if I don't acknowledge messages right away, just be patient, because I will be able to see them. I'm just still slowly catching my breath for all that, like seriously. Okay, how long is this level anyway? It shouldn't be too long. At least it's more Galaxy 1 music. Probably my one quip with this. Whoa, that was close. It feels like it kind of plays a little too slow. Whereas the other stage at the end played a little bit too fast. It's like I kind of wish you could move the ship a little bit faster and that the auto scrolling be a bit faster too. I did do, like, one Mario Party game on my own channel, but it wasn't very good. It was Mario Party Advance. Doing that solo, like, or single player is not fun. Temporary base. Hey, just as long as it doesn't give me any permanent anxiety like the debris did. I think I can break this. Can I? Yes, I can. Okay, those switches actually disable the, uh, the blue blocks. What? That was a long-ass hitbox for the uh, fireballs. I think I got hit by the tail end of it. Oof, I almost fell off. There's, like, too many swamps in this one level. Like, seriously. It's like there- that's all there is! Swamps and, you know, platforms. And the occasional dry bones. Shoot. Okay, that sucked. Okay, let me go back, so I wanna- Shit. No, I don't need to shit. I already did that, but at some point in time. I just kind of want to, like, uh, go over there and get the checkpoint. And it looks like it's necessary. Uh, SNES GT is the emulator I use for Milia. Um, I know there are, like, um, better uh, emulators out there. Like, I know NecroVMX is more swears behind, like... Another one, like Wiser, whatever it's called, or Heisen. Like, I don't know what it is. But he swears by it because it has, like, really good quality and stuff. But I kind of like SNES GT because Z SNES, what I used to use, has its share of issues from time to time. Like, certain games I play will get a bit buggy. Ah, I messed up. Yeah, Mario Party Advance. Yeah, I, I said that, Wolfie. It was, of course, single player, so it wasn't fun. And I think it had a lot to do with, like, it was just repetitive. Wait a minute. Hold on. Did they repeat 10 1 or 11 1 with the exact same landscape? That time I came out of the bottom pipe, whereas in 11 1 I came out from the top? That's kind of lazy. Okay, we're at the end of World 11, finally. Electric Castle. Oh, 
Okay, they actually do shoot lasers. Oh. oh my god, are you kidding me? Can I not climb up this? Oh, now I can climb up it once I got hit, of course. I was safe before, but couldn't reach it. But yeah, they got the Mario 3 statues that fire the lasers. You know, with the Mega Man 2 music, because that makes sense. The next three days, I'm going to be getting Yu-Gi-Oh! Nightmare and Troubadour. I'm just curious. I thought my donation pushed you over the 100% mark. What, are you talking about the goal that I have here? That's actually not for, uh, tips or donations. It's actually for subscriptions. You know, like, Twitch subs, whether it be, like, Tier 1, Tier 2, or Tier 3. Oh, hold on. What is this? Oh. Wait. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Wait for... Excuse me? You didn't warn me there'd be another laser above me! Oh my god, I didn't hit the checkpoint. So I gotta start over. Aw, oh, shit. Also, I don't think Dr. Wily would be in this castle because it doesn't have any spikes. Laser statues are not exactly Dr. Wily's forte. Unless those laser statues were also shooting spikes. Okay, let's try this again! So I'm gonna wait. And I'll try- I slipped. I was waiting for the right time to just jump on there. Hey there, Phantom. You just w missed another one of the worst levels in the whole world. Because guess what gimmick they reused? And I think you were there, like, for the other sessions of this hack, so I'm pretty sure you got it already figured out what I had to deal with again. Take a couple guesses. Are you kidding me? Well, at least it was not the gimmick. I'm pretty sure that was not actually a guess. I forgot those, uh, Quickman lasers could destroy the, uh, Bowser statues. Just not those statues. Pain, pain, and more pain. Well, see, that now that's kind of cheating. Because that can apply to almost anything that can hurt you. I'm talking about those, uh, the debris. You know that gimmick? Yeah, they brought it back for, like, one of the stages in this world. Why they did that? I don't freaking know. Because the developer is a masochist. Uh-oh. Okay. Maybe don't do that. I almost died again. So, of course, I have to literally wait and wait and wait for this to go away. But I'm too afraid to, like, jump all the way up. Because what if there's another laser? You know what I mean? Okay, I think that's the last of the lasers. Nope, never mind, there's more. As soon as I said it, they brought some back. Ooh, I didn't think that dry bones was gonna drop and it wound up getting vaporized
All right, Phantom Gamer just redeemed 500 points. Hang on, I gotta look through the queue. Did I clear up most of my stuff in the queue? About my battle against Queen Valentina and Dodo and Super Mario RPG. Wow, you picked the absolute most random topics. Some of which I might have already forgotten. But that fight did not go that hard. Like, I think on my Let's Play, I did okay with it. Like, it was an interesting gimmick that I was able to be kind of like two fights in one. But I didn't find it that hard. At least not after I figured out what it is I needed to do to make it go just right. So it's kind of hard for me to rant on something that wasn't... Okay, I, I avoided lasers there. Run, run. Okay, that was not fair. Oh god, it catches up to you real quick. <sighs> Somehow I get hit by everything. They tell you to be fast, but if you are fast, you get hit. So what do you want from me? You can't win with this hack sometimes. I'm near the end. I see a floating island. And I just get the orb. You're far too late, Mario! My plan is almost done! And now it's time f to give you... It's time to you... Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me read that. And now it's time to you give me all the 11 orbs. Who are you? Are you Bowser? Yes, and I need the 11 orbs in order to finish my plan. Wait, that looked like blood. Are you talking about the that island over there? No! I have the red orb. I can use it against you. Now I have all the orbs. It's time to finish my plan. Oh, well that sucked. Them physics, I'm talking about when you damage Queen Valentina. Well, you're trying to be as vague as humanly possible, but I understand what you're talking about now. Alright, so this is World 12. Pretty much on a floating island. Lava Cliffs. Diabolical plan to get all the orbs. Just let Mario get them all, and then take them all in one place, from one place. That is a trope in video games you use a lot. Just have the hero collect all the MacGuffins, and then the villain just grabs them all at once. Are you kidding me? Okay, now these Chucks are throwing fireballs instead of baseballs. What are those pokies over there? They're just, like, immolated. I'm not looking at chat, by the way. There's, like, too much lava and all that stuff. And fireballs. Oh, of course. I would undershoot my jump. Oh, oh thank God. Checkpoint. Ah, I should have hit the tape first. World 12. There had to be one more world? Well, there's 12 orbs. So, of course, there has to be 12 worlds. And plus, when we were in the warp zone, it did literally say that there was a 12 pipe. Okay, I'm gonna take my time with these. I pretty much have to. 
Like, you can't always rush through this. Even if I pretty much want to. Just to get away from the danger. Hang on, I'm just I'm gonna take a peek at the chat when it calms down here. If it calms down! Can I get that? Yes, I can! Nice! No! I just grabbed that and I lost it! Oh, easy come, easy go, I guess. Just couldn't let me keep it, huh? Oh, that only took a piece off of it. Favorite part of that is in Shantae when it looks like Risky's gonna take all the MacGuffins, but never does. Shantae gets cocky and Risky smacks her head back of the head and takes everything. Oh, well, <laughs> I don't follow enough of the Shantae series to, like, acknowledge that or remember it. Is it just me just song sound like Bloody Tears in Castlevania? Yeah, it actually is a remix of it. Hey there, Kiki, how's it going? You remember that... That stage in World 7 that had all the debris and everything that was nearly impossible to dodge? They brought it back for a stage in World 11. So now we're on the final world. 12-2. Volcanic Eruption. Oh, thanks for the free power-up. What the? Huh? What? Oh! That's why they give you a mushroom right away. Oh god. They're doing like the screen wrapping that they did in Mario 3. Oh god, you, you die and you fall down, the lava falls down with you? I did not notice that. So this is a stage where you pretty much had to be super fast. Okay, that was not fair. Oh god. Oh god. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Why? Why would you put Fire Bros in this kind of stage and then I slip and fall? <sighs> Thank god I have over 60 lives. So the lava rises really quick. If you stop to dodge like any of the obstacles, the lava is probably gonna get ya. So you can't stop forever. <sighs> Couldn't win in that situation. DKC3 music? I don't think it's for this stage. You know what? I'm just gonna take the hit. I was kinda hoping I would take the hit in somewhere where I can get a power up back. Also, is that lava above me? Yeah, there's lava above me, too. Not the stage, the overworld. Well, next time try to say something with actual context, I'll know what you're talking about. No, that's not DKC3 music. I thought it was like maybe the, wanting maybe the world music? Not the overworld music, but like the level music. Or I thought it would be the lost world and it's neither. Underground lava lake. <laughs> oh no, it's, it's not a big deal. It's just when you say like, a, "Is that music I hear?" Like, I don't know if you're talking about the overworld or if you're talking about the level itself. 
Because I got that message from you in the chat while I was in the stage. <sighs> really, game? You're gonna give me a no-win situation? <laughs> That's what that was. Alright, let's try this again. And this time do a little bit better. You know what? I'm just gonna rush ahead. Oh, okay, I thought I was gonna get hit by that fireball. You know what? That star coin is not worth it. Remember, I gotta do this stage twice. Because there's a secret exit in this one. I just don't know where it is. Yep. That was weird. Okay. Okay, so it looks like the key might be down there. Fair enough. I'll have to remember to stay on that ride after it ends. Oh, thank god I have a boomerang power-up. I'll take care of the piranha plants. Oh, it takes care of the little sparkies, too. I'll probably wait till the next bit of DLC gets released. Or, like, the fifth DLC character before I try out Smash again. Mostly just to apply the update. I've been pretty much out of practice with it. Because again, I've been busy with other games. Okay, I think it wants me to spin jump on that. What? No. Oh god, I thought I hit that too late. Okay, so I don't know how much is left. I mean, there's 12-4, and of course another stage, and then the castle. Have I played much of Smash Ultimate at all? I thought I clearly said that I have been away from it for too long. So I just haven't had time. Probably not since, like, Banjo or Terry got released. Okay, well at least I know what I need to do. This will make things a little bit easier. I apologize to anybody who believes Mario Maker is superior to this stuff, but this is how you make a custom Mario game. Are you kidding me? It happened again! But I mean, to be fair, I mean, I can't really say that this is the superior way to make a Mario game. Because you have to know how to code, pretty much, or how to work with Lunar Magic, or Lunar Flips, or whatever it's called. And if you don't really care to learn that kind of program, Mario Maker is still really good for that. So I can't really say one's more superior to the other. That's not a really fair thing to say. It's like, there are some things that are custom and hacks that are sometimes done really well. And then there are some that are done terribly. And just in Mario Maker, there are some stages that are designed terribly. 
Like, it just comes down to the person. Okay, looks like we got airships. Airship attack one. Get out of here, thank you. Actually, you know what? I think I want the boomerang suit more. That would be better for this kind of stage. Ah, good old Mario 3. Wow! The flames actually pop in and out much faster than they did in Mario 3. I was not ready for that. I got out of the way, and then it just came back. Like, not even a half second, look. Just pops in and out like crazy. Okay, they're pretty much using the uh, airship music for the new Super Mario Bros. games. Oh, you're talking about the cannon. Well, I couldn't really guess the cannon timing there. But somehow it worked. Usually I get my timing wrong in this kind of stuff. Okay, there shouldn't be that much left to this level. I hope. Okay, good to know I didn't get shot in midair. I usually do. Oh good, get another one. So I gotta be careful, because now they're coming out diagonally. Ah, no! Okay, you know what? I'm not getting that power up. Sucked. This could also suck. Power up. Okay, there is one. Yes! Okay, whatever's in that pipe, I'll be fine. Yes. I get what you're saying. I'm just saying that you get to have an overarching narrative with all the levels for most hacks, especially the ones I've seen you play. Well, that's because they're able to set up a story. In Mario Maker 2, you really can't do that. You can only just set up stages. But if you create multiple stages, and then just give them all a theme, you can do that. But there's no way to actually create a story. Unless maybe a description, but that's just about it. Oh yeah, take it easy, James. I know there's a Pokemon Direct coming out on Thursday. Airship Attack 2. So nice, you gotta do it twice. Only this time, <laughs> the ships are going faster. But it looks like the ships themselves are smaller, too. Again, giving you all those... Wow. All those Mario 3 vibes, like in World 8, where they had like the small airships that were going super fast. Oh, oh no, I'm supposed to go this way. What the hell? I <laughs> almost got thrown off by that part. Oh my god, this level really loves to throw the hammer bros at me. And that paratroopa, I was lucky I didn't get, get hit by. Because they were just like coming at me fast and furious. Some of the paratroopers are just dropping from off screen. How do you prepare for that in a quick auto scroller? You kind of don't. Okay, 
Okay, it looks like I just go straight to the castle. Alright, looks like we're getting we might be able to finish this hack before 8 p.m. Eastern. I mean we're at the castle now, however. 12-4. Smasher Factory. I'd smash her factory. <laughs> Whoa, 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 oh god. That's what that was. Those are your smashers. And I'm sure they would pretty much kill you. It looks like they only pop up through like the holes in the floor and the ceiling. Well, so much for that suit being able to protect me. Yes, that is the factory music from DKC1. Oh, that fireball is stuck. Oh, it's going to a new home now. <laughs> God, these hammers are nowhere near as good as they were in Mario 3. In Mario 3, we were able to just destroy almost everything except for world hunger. But here they can't do shit. Another, another smash it real fast. It's like when he needs to smash now. <laughs> oh god, on a conveyor belt? Oh no! No, no! I got screwed by the thwomp. And guess what? I didn't hit a checkpoint, and I lose both power-ups. F. M. L. You know that song from Lizzie McGuire, You Get the Best of Both Worlds? No. I got the complete opposite there. I got completely robbed. Huh, look, now that portable is gonna get dragged. Okay, that was my fault. I'll take that. I'll take heat for that. I thought the timing would be a little bit more delayed, but it wasn't. Sad violin noises, I know, right? On the world's smallest violin? Why? Why would it be the world's smallest violin for me? I'm not just gonna go like, poor, poor, pitiful me when other people have it way worse. <laughs> I wasn't going on that context. Let's try this again, and this time, don't die. So far, this one is a little... tricky. Like, it's tricky to get the timing right sometimes. Oh! That time I overshot my jump! Now it's just everything's going wrong. But it couldn't be one thing. It has to be two things. Like, trouble is coming in twos now. But it is what it is. Anyway, my uh, grandfather's funeral was today. Up I, why did I not hit jump? I hit jump and it, and it dropped. 
But anyway, yeah, my grandfather's funeral was today because it was all the way in Labrador. And I wouldn't have been able to have time to go over there to, to catch the funeral itself. Because he passed away on Saturday, and then they had the funeral on Tuesday. That would not have given me enough time to get there. Thanks for the host, Kamen Rider. But anyway, I am doing okay. I know I couldn't be there, so I did, like, write up a little something to say goodbye. And I sent it to Mom on Facebook, and she was really happy about it. Like, it wasn't too big, it was just brief. But I felt it did the job. To say my piece, that kind of thing. Thanks for the condolences, but yeah, I'll definitely be fine. You don't have to worry that much about me. I find that I handle death pretty well, especially if it's inevitable. And that time it was. Yay! Cat with the follow! Thank you so much! And welcome to the show! Anyway, if this is your first time here, I do stream like three to four times a week. But this week, I'm actually streaming five days a week. With Wednesday and Sunday being my only off days. And I hope you'll tune in again on Thursday when we play some more Super Mario Odyssey. This time I'm gonna make it through. Okay, I see what the. Oh god. There's like two lines of thwomps. You know what? I'm just gonna take the hit. Whew, that was close. Oh, you watch me on YouTube a lot? Thank you. I'm glad you're finally here to check it out. So what particular project on YouTube that got you to follow me? Like, what was the project that got you to want to keep watching? I'm curious. 12-5. Castle Courtyard. Okay, I could make that jump. Good. Are you kidding me? I slipped off the block. Okay, hey, hey there, uh, Stand Up Adventures. Gonna have dinner? I might still be streaming if it's like a little over an hour. But don't like rush yourself. Take your time and enjoy your dinner. I hope it's good. I didn't really have too much that was big for dinner. I had uh, leftover pizza from yesterday. And it was good because uh, I got it for like 50% off. It's usually 50% off on Mondays if you order. But that time, that they're actually going to have 50% off pizza for the whole week. I thought it was only for the Monday. And that's really damn good. Oh yeah, usually the pizza is pretty good because I would just have it with extra sauce. And the extra and the sauce is actually the best part of the pizza. You can still have like pizza that are, that's pretty old still be good. If you decide to like freeze what's left and then you just pop it in the oven later. That way it won't dry out. Oh, I can actually make that jump nice. Orange chicken sounds really good. I never had it. But today at work, at the cafeteria, we had, um, sesame chicken. And it also came with some rice. The chicken was really good. The issue I had with it, it was like 20% chicken and 80% salt. Like, it tasted, like, good, but way too salty. The locked rooms. I'm guessing this room's locked. Nope, it's not locked! 
So this level was an absolute lie. Because that room was open. I thought it was supposed to be locked. Oh my god, are you... Are you for real, game? I was waiting for a power-up, and I just happened to die. Also, what's up here? Oh. That's the locked room. So I guess I have to get a key at the end of this room. And then I just have to, like, continue on to, like, the next room. Come on. I'm in a tight space with constant fireballs. Like, what do you want me to do? Especially if the lava's over there, I can't see the rest of the walls. So what if I forget where they're gonna bounce? Guess I'll just die. <laughs> And I don't think this is going to be a short level, because look at that time limit. I think it had over 800 seconds on it. You got to be shitting me. They had to put a Sparky right there. Now they're just putting him in awful spots. And as much as I just want to, like, run straight up, I have to get a power-up. Whew, okay. Bowser's last resort to kill Mario and take over the world. I thought that was his first resort! Wasn't he sending his minions to beat me up, like, right at the very start? So I think he was trying to kill Mario right from the very beginning. It just happens that these methods are a little bit more extreme. He's gotta be something else to have lava become walls like this. Okay, that time I actually got over it. Nice. Okay. I guess it's just a steady climb the rest of the way. Oh, oh, hoo -hoo. Good. A reserve power-up. I needed that. This game should be called Bonga Gives Up 1 and you should give up on it. I mean, I've given up on hacks that were, like, awful. <laughs> but they don't call it Bonga Gives Up. <laughs> also, I don't think it would go well with the viewers if I actually g gave up on a hack. Also, I think I'm supposed to put this over here. I don't remember Soda Lake? Like in the original Super Mario World? Because that wasn't very hard. Hold up, am I supposed to go in that pipe? I thought I was supposed to get a key. I guess I'm not gonna get one here. Oh, it's just in its own room. So a lake was pretty easy. Gay Cat just subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you so much. That actually puts me a little bit closer to getting that uh, Blue Yeti microphone that we can use for future streams and Let's Plays. And also, you'll be able to get to enjoy your uh, Tier 1 emotes. What is up with this castle constantly having rising and falling lava, whether it's vertically or horizontally? It's becoming a repeated trend. I think I'm gonna wait this one out. 
And you know what? Just being able to subscribe, or even if you can't subscribe, just sharing the stream around, posting it, or following. Every little thing makes a difference. Like, no matter how insignificant it may seem. Just wanted everybody to know that. And just you guys being here at all. Son of a bitch. Just you being here at all really matters. Because honestly, I would not be able to have, like, a successful stream channel if it weren't for you guys. I think I can make a jump for that... Make a run for that pipe. There we go. What the... Huh? What? Oh. What the hell? Oh! They had the key in this room! Here I was thinking the key was glitched! Wait, huh? Huh? What? I was going through the pipe, nothing happened! Okay, I'm just going through, I'm going through, I'm going through... You can't go through the pipe! It doesn't work! What? Uh... I don't think that's supposed to happen! Hold on. What if I wait here? They had two random coins there for a reason. Oh, that's why. It was to trick you. Wait. That's the end of the level. But there was no boss fight. Oh! 12 Castle 2! So there's another level in the castle. Okay. Elemental Tower. Oh god, not these munchers. The ones that rise up and fall. What the? How was I supposed to see that? Back door? I don't think it's the back door. This is actually a continuation. Oh god, upside down water? What is this? As long as there's no more munchers, I'm happy. This is very, very weird. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god! I almost messed that one up! <laughs> Jesus! Okay, now all this stuff is toxic. It's just like 8chan. What the hell? Purple flames? I think that's just to be supposed to be poison. So I know there was an orb based on like poison or toxicity. So it might be based on the orbs themselves. Oh. Shouldn't have looked at chat there. 
That was my fault. So this must be the fire elemental room. So I'm guessing there will be like an earth elemental, lightning element, air element, God knows what else. Oh god, there's earth elemental. Don't tell me they're gonna have the debris gimmick again. Because that would be awful. I don't want to go through that again. Okay, this one's ice. Huh? That was just a sudden collapse. It's like 8-bit Castlevania. Remember, these guys like to throw twice. So you don't get hit in midair. Like that, see? Also, I wouldn't be looking forward to... Wow. Looking forward to, like, redoing, like the entire level if you mess up once. Because I don't think there's any checkpoints between elements. Just saying, I don't think they're going to be that nice. They even put a snowman here? Who would put a snowman here? I didn't think the Koopas were allowed to have fun. Okay, I think this is the final fight. Well, they give you two sets of power-ups, so it must be. Alright, it's Bowser. There, I win. I did it. Did I? It looks like you fell on the old trick of the false Bowser. <laughs> fell on? Don't you mean fell for? Okay, he's got a throne now. Look. Can I jump on him? Yep, you can actually jump on him. But now he does Earthquake... Ch oh! I think I beat him. Nope, there's more! Okay, there's the orbs. I can just grab them. Why can't I just grab them? Let's just repeat the same fight. Oh, okay. I just brought the orbs to the castle. Suddenly, I'm no longer there. Twelve S. There's another level. It's still going. Let me get a power up first. I might need one. Somehow, there is still more. Alright, let's see what 12S is all about. I think this is the last stage. The final run. Wait. 
I... I've seen this level before. Is this supposed to be like a challenge level? Oh my god, I just looked at that time! 800 plus seconds? Uh... Is this level gonna take forever? It's probably gonna have a little bit of every world. I can't say I'm excited about that, because I'm not. In fact, I'm a little frightened as to what I could be running into. So I could definitely be putting my skills to the test. So I better get some power-ups for this. Well, I get a Yoshi. Okay, I do get a Mushroom. Good. I've heard of Tower of Heaven. And I know they used the other song in that game. In this hack, too. No! Come back! God, I think the snow might be a bit distracting. Whoa! Oh! oh, I almost died. I had to sacrifice the Yoshi to do it. Also, there's an invisible ceiling over there. So I'm gonna have to let that pokey drop. Or that snowkey drop. Okay, I gotta wait for the right time so I have to deal with the... So somehow, there were zero... Hmm. There was zero good timing there. None. If the volcano stopped, there would be a baseball there. If there was no baseball, there was fireballs. So I had a 100% average of get fucked. I think I can only do this stage if I have fireballs. So I'm gonna have to stack up on power-ups, and then I can just go in there and try again. I'm just gonna make sure that I have two sets of fire flowers before I go in there. Because I don't trust my chances of getting through that without anything. Other than just a single mushroom. So from the looks of things, there weren't any checkpoints. Alright, let's try this again. I don't know how I'm going to be able to pull this off. Honestly, Grandmaster Galaxy wasn't too bad. As long as you're doing the Grandmaster Galaxy run and not the uh, perfect run. Oh, I didn't get the coin. That's why I kept coming back. Hey there, uh, Linky. Welcome to the show. If I don't read everyone's chats, by the way, that's because I'm pretty much on the official last stage of the game. And it's the absolute hardest. Wait, there was a 1-up. Why would I go back for a 1-up? I have 55. You can't honestly suggest that I go back and get a 1-up. 
on this stage of all places. You would be insane to think I would go for that. Hells to the no. I have more respect for myself to go for a one-up on this stage when I could be getting them in other stages that are less catastrophic. Okay, I hope you draw, please. Thanks. Oh god, there's, there's more! Okay, I'm doing better. So at least I have another power up. I mean, last time when I came here, I only had the mushroom. Oh, oof. oh God, everything's just cramped. It's ridiculous. Why is that necessary? I can't see this guy and he's still able to throw! What even is this hell? Oh, and I lost the Yoshi. That sucked. Personally, I'm surprised they're actually giving me something at all, Phantom. I would have expected them to give you nothing! <laughs> like, maybe one mushroom early in the stage and nothing else. There was not a single checkpoint in the entire stage, either. They seriously expect you to go through all of this completely legit. Oh wait, I think this is the, the area that has them power up. So I want that... Now that Hammer Brother won't get up on the blocks. Get on the blocks, Hammer Brother. Get on the blocks. Get on the blocks, thank you. There, I got a mushroom. Yeah, that's where the 1-Up was. Pretty much irrelevant now. Come on, get on the box. Or, or you know, do that. I ain't gonna judge how you live your life. Or end your life. Of course, I'm talking to Hammer Brothers, not real people. Alright, this is gonna be the last try, and if I don't nail it, I'll just save scum in between levels. Or in between rooms. But only at the beginning of a section, not at the middle. Wow. I didn't think it would blow up that soon. Hold on, I don't, I don't remember this section here actually having a power up at all. Unless I can't seem to find where it is. It's none of these blocks. Okay, I, I guess I'll just be screwed. Drop. 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 Drop, goddamn you! Are you for real? It would never take this long before! Look at him! Look at this guy go! Where am I safe? He's gonna keep doing this forever, isn't he? Oh, 
Oh my god, the AI is actually programmed him to keep the high jump indefinitely. Oh no. Oh no. I can't get through this. I have to hail Mary a jump. And these things don't stop throwing. Oh my god, I did it. I did it. I don't know how, but I did it. Oh, oh God, are you kidding me? Oh no. I'm sorry. It had to be done. I didn't want to kill the Yoshi either. <sighs> but I had to preserve my own existence. For it was more precious. Sorry for all you Yoshi fans out there, including myself. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna load state in between the beginning of a section. Because I just wanna, like, wrap things up eventually. And if I keep trying to do it legit, I'm never gonna wrap this up! I also gotta find out if this area even has a single checkpoint. Really? No, this is not nice. The game is lying to you. It's not nice. Like just star spam? And not the good kind of stars either? Not the kind that make you invincible. Hey there, Sims Mage. How's it going? day went much better than that those last few seconds let's try that again congratulations oh that was the last part so it was only like four sections oh hey peach And that was it. That was literally it. I... I beat the game. We're, we're done. Oh, no, I didn't mean to go back in there. I'm pretty sure I got all the exits, did I? Hang on, let me reset. Because I probably did the autosave after that stage. Yep, 112. That's all the exits. That was the Super Mario World Sprite of Peach. <laughs> Whew, oh my god. Well, we beat the game. Even though the ending was a little anticlimactic, seeing as though I had to save Scum in the middle, you know, like, in between transitions. So I can't really say I was proud of having to do that, but <coughs> if you want to do it legit, this is what you'd have to expect. Yeah, there's 20 minutes left. 
Well, I guess what I could do, and I was planning to wait until next week to start this. But I think we can do, like, the first little bit of... Where is it? I know it's around here somewhere. Oh, I know where it is. So I actually renamed it. Am I taking suggestions for the next ROM hack? No, I'm not. This was a game that was confirmed in the 2019 Christmas special, so screw it, we might as well start it now. We'll probably do like the first couple stages, and then we'll continue next week.